For most of 2022, A-list celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Paris Hilton were jumping on the NFT bandwagon, and many thought the sky was the limit. Fast forward to today, and with all the gloomy headlines about celebrity investments into NFTs and how much money they've lost, you'd be forgiven for wondering if NFTs are dead forever. So what's changed? We appear to be in the midst of a blue chip NFT crisis. Azuki, Bored Ape Yacht Club, Doodles, Moonbirds, CryptoPunks, and beyond are all trading at far below their hyped, inflated valuations of yesteryear. Long gone, it seems, are the days of selling a $96 million collection in just one hour. Nansen reports a 47% year to date drop in blue chip NFT prices, and many expect more significant price declines. We covered the botched Azuki Elementals release last week, and grievances over over the sales process and similarities between the old and the new NFTs have since spiraled into a proposal by the Azuki DAO, who are now seeking to recover 20,000 ETH, which is about $39 million earned from the controversial Elementals collection. The Azuki floor is down from 17 to 7 ETH, and the Elementals floor is down from 1.69 ETH to a measly 1 ETH, at around half the mint price. The Doodles trading volume, sales, and floor price are all down 52, 37, and 22% respectively over the last month. Moonbirds call themselves the Art Collector's PFP, but their floor is also down 24% over the last 30 days. Board Ape Yacht Club or Base C prices are also plunging. Some suggest that airdrop farming for the Blur Marketplace token has negatively impacted prices. But perhaps this is a predictable outcome considering the Base C floor peaked at an eye-watering 152 ETH or $430,000. Not bad for a JPEG that cost $400 to mint. Even at current prices, original minters are now sitting on gains of over 150x. So what does the Blur airdrop have to do with NFT prices? Arguably, the sharp decline in NFT trading since May can be attributed to the end of doubled trading rewards on the Blur NFT marketplace. Wumbo Labs co-founder Cirrus makes a valid point about chasing transaction volume for airdrops with this tweet, and NFT Crypto 3.eth made a similar point last month. Essentially, airdrop farmers have been prioritizing transaction volumes and they don't mind losing money on NFT trades to qualify for a potentially lucrative token airdrop in the near future, and they've subsequently pushed floor prices down. Both argue that those unfamiliar with the market dynamics introduced by this $100 million blur airdrop are likely seeing their asset prices drop and exiting the market too. And if you're wondering what the solution to this vicious cycle is, Trevor.BTC thinks projects need to save themselves by getting their assets out of farmers hands, buying them out, and reducing the number of assets kept in what he calls the blur washing machine. But are NFTs dead? Well if you look at a single data set like the price of blue chip projects, NFT creator royalty payments, or perhaps even NFT transaction volumes, you'd be forgiven for concluding that at least for the time being NFTs are indeed dead. Actually yes, by most metrics NFTs appear to be sliding into the abyss, but perspective is key and surely we weren't expecting to sustain a bubble which saw monkey JPEGs selling for millions of dollars. So maybe the NFT space and the valuations within it just grew too fast for their own good. Good. Luckily, herd mentality, degen culture, and the desire to be part of something bigger than ourselves are narratives that are likely to survive past this bear market. So what do you think? Are NFTs dead or simply dormant? Thank you for tuning in and stay defiant.